Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am back in my, well no, this is not my, but I'm showing you guys uh, some of the more detailed flip throughs of my recent squad box. So the Happy Planner in their winter release are actually releasing a few different bundles and I won't say that they're bundles that they come all together, but they are created so that they do all go together. And the first being the gardening one. So this one, this whole theme comes with uh, a planner, two different sticker books and a planner accessory pack. So I will take you through all of these. So the first thing I'm going to take you guys through is the planner. So this is a 12 month uh, vertical planner and it is undated, which I like. And I already love the cover and you've got kind of bronze classic discs here. And the inside cover is just gorgeous. Like I love the inside cover with like the different herbs with like cilantro and sage. Beautiful. And then, ooh, then you've got the months here in the bronze bronze or copper more copper colors that you can put on the monthly tabs there look at that beautiful front cover page already loving all of the florals and then i know it's an ideas page this might be the currently page but there's the first dashboard or divider and the monthly pages look very very neutral very neutral and I'm gonna check in the back here because normally if you have an undated planner like this it normally would come with the numbers for the months but it doesn't look like it does so you would have to number this on your own and then those are the vertical pages inside again very neutral they've got have a beautiful day and I love the grid. I always love the grid. And then gratitude changes everything. And this is the currently page. You got notes, ideas, birthdays, dates, and days to remember. Then the second monthly, sorry, the second divider. And again, these are all going to look exactly the same every month, especially when you have to date them. The third month, oh, I skipped one. The third monthly divider, butterflies and bees are always welcome. So it kind of follows the theme of the sticker books, like the Gardening 1 and Gardening 2 sticker books that came out earlier this year. The fourth monthly divider, I love like the, the shears there. Fifth one, start each day with a grateful heart. This is beautiful. Every day is a fresh start. Oh my gosh, I don't know why, but the dividers that are like this, where it's just like a big pattern, I love it. Love them, they're my favorite. From little seeds grow mighty trees. Sunshine on my mind, ah, and all the succulents. This is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And then you've got the 11th one here. I love this, I love these florals. And then the last one. Ooh, are those poppies? No, I don't know. And then you've got the, yeah, the inside back cover. Ooh, I always love the notes page in the back because the notes page in the back always is just really pretty. All right, so that is the planner, the gardening planner. So the planner accessory, sorry for the glare there, but basically it comes with stickers, folders, sticky notes, bookmark, and pre-punched paper. So you've got the sticky notes. And the thing with the sticky notes is that they've got the holes punched for the disc. So you can put that straight into your planner. You've got like the little, oh, the gourds and the apple. And then the, I love sticky notes. Perfect. And then next, actually there's this front sheet here. I love this bookmark. Love this bookmark that will fit perfectly in your classic planner. Then next you've got, oh, it's kind of stuck in there. You've got the folder. I don't use folders all that often, but I think they're really, really functional and uh, just great to use for those who do use them. And then a sticker sheet. And then you've got the 
sheets of filler paper here. So let me just see if they're all different. Nope, they're all the same. So basically you have the listed out and then you've got lined on one side and then you've got the grid on the other side. And then on the back, every day is a fresh start and it's a dot grid with the little florals. Cute, I think, I love accessory packs because they allow you to really customize your planner. Oh, that's not the way it went in. But they really do allow you to customize your planner in a specific theme. I never really used to buy accessory packs. We just, I never found use for them, but I love the bookmark. The bookmark and the sticky notes, and of course the sticker paper are my favorites. So next we have the two sticker books here. Um, I'm just so excited for anything gardening. So which one am I gonna go through first? I'm gonna go through the Don't Stop Growing first. Actually, I'll keep that here. So Don't Stop Growing has 712 stickers in here. And I feel like this is the more functional one. So I've got the full boxes and the flags. Some checklists, I really like that. Okay, so these are habit trackers. Again, it does say it's mostly for gardening, but I think you can certainly use this in any type of planner for any, any function, not just gardening. To do stickers and boxes, these are pretty. I'm not a gardener at all, and neither is my husband, so we will not be using this for gardening. These are beautiful. Now, garden planning, seed shopping, get soil test. That's the thing. With um, boxes that are already labeled like this, it makes it difficult to use, but you could certainly use like, for example, the handwritten plans sticker book and cover up where it says plant seedlings or visit nursery. Noteworthy with the gold foil in the garden, today's list. There we go, I love these flags. Herbs and perennials, gardening journal. Ooh, I love the succulents. And the thing with this, it, it says gardening journal, but I'm sure you could easily cover that up with a to-do label. These, this is pretty. I love this and this and this. This just whole page. Very cute. Look at the chickens. <laughs> I'll be in the garden. Meet me. Excuse me, meet me in the garden. It sounds like I was saying meet meep, sorry. And then things to do. I love these types of things to do boxes because if you guys have seen me do this before, I slice these so that they're there. They make up like eight order boxes. Love it. I think a lot of us kind of get stumped with a sticker book made for just gardening, for example. But the thing is, we can certainly use all of these as just decorative stickers. We don't necessarily have to use them for the function that they have been said, like, I will not be using this. I could find something, some other purpose for these, though. I do love icon stickers like this. Like here, this is good for weather. Like, these are cute. I do love icon stickers, I do have to admit. And more for weather. So one's with foil and one's with color. And then the succulents and the harvest log. A lot of harvest logs. <laughs> you could totally use this as like an online shopping log. The date, what you purchased, and then whether you received it. Totally different use now. Tending to, this could be like used for self-care. So there's so many uses for this sticker book, if not just for, it's not just for gardening. Wow, I love the colors and the artistry in this. Beautiful. Ah, oh, and the vegetables. I've never decorated my spread with vegetables, so I'm still having trouble with how to use these. This I will definitely use. And these I will definitely use. All right, so that is that first sticker book, Don't Stop Growing. The second one is Garden Flowers. Harvest, so very fall, fall themed. This second sticker book is more decorative rather than functional. Most of the functional stuff you'll see in here. Oh, beautiful with the birds and the butterflies. 
Oh, there's two pages. So one is just on regular sticker paper and one is on translucent. I love the translucent stickers. Oh, this was one of my favorite stickers in the gardening sticker book and they had like one. And now there's six in a page. Prune or trim. These are very big stickers. I don't know what else I would use them for. I probably wouldn't use them. Oh, I love big floral stickers. Oh, these are my favorite too. These are my favorite from the gardening sticker book and I was so sad that they only had like one or two of these and now they have a whole page. Yes, and a page of chickens. <laughs> a page of chickens. Two pages of chickens and roosters. Ooh, these are cute too. Basil or basil, oregano, or as my husband calls it, oregano. He's British. Rosemary, mint, thyme. There we go. Oh, come on. We got sage and dill and cilantro. Ooh, figs, right? Figs. These, oh, they've taken some of my favorite stickers from the gardening sticker book and made multiples of them. I love it. Ooh. Citrus spread. I'm already thinking of a citrus spread come summer. Onions. Okay. I'm thinking more decorative here. I didn't necessarily put an onion in a planner spread, but if you are into the gardening, this would work for you. Tomatoes, peaches. These could be great for labels as well. For labeling anything. You could certainly use these for labeling stuff like in the fridge. String beans, squash, absolutely use this stuff for labeling like Tupperware in the fridge with all of your vegetables. Oh, great idea. Sugar snap peas, radish, bok choy and garlic. I love arugula. Carrots. Ooh, so pretty. And water plants. Ah, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I love, oh, and the succulents. Oh, and last page, and more succulents. Oh my gosh, I love that book. All right, so that is the whole gardening, or the garden themed set. You've got the planner, you've got the, the planner accessories, and you've got the two sticker books. I absolutely love this theme and you can find these on thehappyplanner.com. I've included a link in my description below. I'd be so grateful if you guys use that affiliate link. It's at no extra cost to you, but helps me with uh, just a tiny commission on basically sending you to the website and purchasing from there. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.